this is a limit tv your favorite learning station where you watch and learn welcome to our history class this is a new topic and it will be our lesson one and the topic will be on transport this is your tutor rojab michira on transport we'll first get to look at the traditional forms of transport but again what do we need to know by the end of the lesson by the end of the lesson we need to define what transport is and also get to give some of the disadvantages of human portrayage as a form of traditional form of transport can we get to transport transport this is the movement of goods and people from one place to another that movement whereby you move from point a to b with your goods and services that is what is termed as transport however transport can be can be categorized into two forms we have the traditional forms of transport and also we have the modern forms of transport in this case here the modern are after civilization but if you get to look at the traditional means of transport they were before that it, they were they were during the pre-colonial period can you get to look at what are these forms of traditional transport we all know that during the pre-colonial period we didn't have vehicles we didn't have trains we didn't have aeroplanes what did the people use so we'll get to know that they used human transport human transport is also known as human porterage what is this human porterage human porterage is when human beings could carry goods either using their heads in some communities or using their backs for example the the kikuyu community they could carry goods on their back and other communities could carry goods using their head if you can get to see our images there the first diagram there you can see people carrying jerry cans on their head right then in the second in the second image you can see people carrying goods on their back that is what we call human porterage however we must note that the human porterage had its advantages and also it had its disadvantages can you get to look at some of the advantages of human porterage for example one it is readily available you don't need to wait right if you want to take a certain good to a, a certain place you just carry it and, and take it you don't need to wait unlike you wait for the traffic or vehicles and also it is one of the cheapest method of transport it doesn't incur any cost the only thing you need to do is you have energy you are in good health and you are good to go however it also has got disadvantages for example it is time consuming it is time consuming human portrait it's time consuming it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time to move from point a to point b and also another disadvantage of human portrait is that it can only carry only a small load of goods in that case for example if you get to look at at our images you can clearly see that those people carrying those goods they are just carrying a few number of goods meaning they can they, they cannot carry bulky bulky goods well also in traditional forms of transport we had apart from human portrait we also had what we call animal transport animal transport they are also called the pack animals in trade we did look at what were the pack animals and then we realized that pack animals included the camels included the the donkeys included uh, elephants included dogs right dogs yes they can carry goods don't be surprised they carry goods those were some of the pack animals and as you can see from our image there we have got pack animals for example image 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 one here we have a donkey you can see what is carrying right then get to see get to see image two there right we have a horse right then in the in, in the image three we have a goat yes a goat was a was a pack animal in some communities they could use goats to carry to carry the, to carry the goods but what were some of the advantages and disadvantages of pack animals or what were some of the disadvantages of of the of the of the human transport one we get to see that human tra uh, animal transport it is always cheap 
you don't need to in kind cost it doesn't need fuel animals did need, don't need, do not need fuel the only thing you need you need is to feed them another advantage is that accidents are very rare right i've never seen an accident involving a donkey and another donkey very rare right and also animals do not need fuel apart from teaching and training in this case yeah, what we mean you must have to train your animal to carry these goods not forgetting that that animal transport also had a few disadvantages for example animals may be attacked by wild animals take an example of a of a goat right you're using it as a you're getting to use it as a as a pack animal or a, you're using it to transport goods then on the way you can be attacked by wild animals for example lion for example jita good then also finally uh, another final disadvantage is that it is tedious it is one of the tedious uh, tedious mode of transport meaning you need to walk right it also need to walk it needs energy so it is really it is really tire, uh, tiresome to sum up our lesson can we get to look at what you need to do at the end of it can we get to to, to try some of these uh, uh, questions one we get to see that why is the camel referred to as the desert sheep why is it why is it referred to us because it was mostly used in the desert why is it referred to us a desert sheep and also get to state some of the disadvantages of human transport as a form of transport for your reference can you get to uh, refer to evolving world history and government students book book 2 and as always i've been saying for more lessons can we always get to watch elimu tv on facebook and at elimu underscore kenya on twitter keep watching those videos where this is the station where you watch and learn thank you and see you in the next class